before. <laughs> that is huge. It's measuring well. What have we got? Oh, you beauty, look at that. That's a horse. <laughs> That's a horse. Welcome back, folks, to the next pack day of Dobbs Fishing Adventures. We are after these King Stomper Bazooka fine specimens of Hawaii. That is a perler. We are going for the bigger species. We're also going for the King George, if they're around. If not, mate, that there is a fine specimen. Just going to measure them up on 32. And we're going to make a ruling today. We're not keeping nothing under 30 centimeters. What do you reckon, James? So I've got the uh, Brian Law on board. James, welcome back to the show, mate. <laughs> Yeah, welcome, mate. <laughs> I'll show you the rigs, the boat later on. And if you if you watch me show on a regular basis, you know what I'm doing. But for the new people, welcome aboard. Make sure you subscribe and like it. Sit back and enjoy the show. Yeah, so we're fishing out here on a bit of a sandy, weedy area. Not too far away from the coast. 11 metres of water. Padding off the rigs, long shank hooks. And some beautiful squid tentacles for bait. Chopped them up. No reason to be fresh. Caught them last week. Oh, I think we've got a bit of boom boom. God. Oh. <laughs> he would have been he wouldn't have made the 30 mark anyway. Now surf and flick and size limits. Be a King George, eh? Possibly. Oh my god. That is <laughs> that is snapper dom. Look at that. Uh not snapper abiding. That is a PP, mate. Don't lose him. <laughs> that is that worth. That is massive, isn't it? <laughs> that is huge. Let's measure it up. Oh. 36. That is a prize catch. That one. Look at this. That there is. <laughs> Good stuff, mate. A lot of weight. There's much more weight than the last one. Yeah. They fight pretty good for their size, you know. We could have played it safe and fished off our usual spots and guaranteed a real good haul in quick succession with, uh, you know, average size whiteys. Here you go. Just bang. Yeah. When you've got your plate like that, the bulbs are exposed, they, they can't hook up. Yeah, so we're sort of like weedy and sandy, so there's always that chance of the KGs coming on board. Oh, it's taking a while. Oh, butterfish, false alarm. <laughs> butterfish. More weed than less weed? Yeah, it could be. <coughs> Probably means we're actually on the weed beds and not. Dead weed suspended. Yeah. That the that could be here. That's right. Well, that's good. That's a good one. Oh, it's been a while, isn't it? It's about 35 centimeters. It's pretty good. So they've all been big today. Not many of them all big. So true. It's a good one. There you go. It's not as big as the uh, one you caught. Yeah, it's 32. Amazing. We'll be struggling to get one man's bag. Well, we're still on the hunt for them. We have to move around. We've only caught a handful. So, uh, yeah, we're really trying. It's actually quite tough, surprisingly. All right, so I've got a good one here. Bit of weight, bit of curry. OK, it's a fatty. Big fatty. Here's a flatty, not worth keeping yet. Probably go for the uh, three meteries. Oh, here on too. Right, so play the move, scout around, see air cross, see colour. What is it? Is it a butterfish? Yeah, it's a butterfish. Gave you a bit of curry, didn't it? That's a good size too. <laughs> it's a fat one. Back. Had a fat abdomen, I thought I'd say that one has got eggs in it. <laughs> well, a bit of action. Is that 
breeze has got a bit of a chill to it. Yeah. Too much the Antarctic. As per usual, we're disrupted by the weather conditions. White caps are ready. It's not even nine o'clock. Getting a bit closer. This is actually doing all right. The wind's still going to be picking up, but we're actually comfortable in it. Just throwing a few baits over. Got, a, got the one. And there's a lot of bites out. Our hooks are probably a bit too big for these species, but we might uh, downsize one of the hooks. Oh, that's better. Double. I've taken the top one. Oh, and the money. Good size for this for these grounds. Go on air, we'll throw him back for another day. Come on. Yeah, Whitey. Certainly is. You want to? Oh, yeah. oh, double hook up. Woo! Got ten. Just comparing these ones to the bigger ones we caught, I mean, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good specimen. So four centimeters difference makes a big difference on a whiting, isn't it? Yeah. So the water's a lot cleaner down here. There's less weed on the bottom. The sound is nice and clean. And you can feel that sinker hitting that that hard sand on the bottom. Oh, just oh. this guy up. Beautiful. Oh, you're on. Go on. Yep. It's a good one. Beautiful. Not bad. <laughs> oh, this has got some girth on it. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that one. Yeah, that's better. Cool. Twos. That's a good one. See, they, they got like, like a pong to them. Have you smelt that? No. It's like the, because the, they're flitting off those worms and it's like a butterfish kind of smell. That one there will definitely throw him back. Just watch out, there's no birds hanging around because I'd come and die for the bull bugger. Put a bit of, bit of a smaller hook, got a size six and a little bit of bait. This one here's still a size, I think it's a size two. We'll go over to the weed beds, pick up a few squid, then we'll get out of here. Eh? You can still fish with that because apparently, good old days, that used to be a good King, good King George Whiting. Yeah, we'll just do one pass before it really starts blowing. We're out of here. It is just blowing a gale. We've got heaps of fish and it's cold. I'm freezing. Woo. Okay, let's go. Check out this bazooka here. That's got to be whiting of the year so far for me. You know, James caught that one, I think. I caught the one just a bit less. 
That's a big fat one. So we're going to cook this up. Not all of them. I'm only going to give it a couple. Got these two big whitings here. I've got a few others that have already filled it up. I'm just going to show you a trick. It's a magic knife. I'm just going to do this. Put the knife right through. Butterfly. Do the other one. <laughs> Butterfly. I've already taken out the rib cage. It did take me a while to get it done, but this is what I am going to do. First thing, salt it up. Next thing, got some plain flour. I'm going to just dab the back bit of the plain flour. Just like that. Because I want to put it in this baking tray right here with oil. I'm going to breadcrumb it. Get the other one. Right, so that's that's the butter fried whiting. It's a fair bit of oil on the bottom, so it will fry in the oven. And I'm going to stuff them. Literally, I'm going to stuff this dish up. So I've got some breadcrumbs, I've already put some salt in it. Crushed up garlic. Crushed up parsley, fresh from the garden. And some crushed up tomato. Let's put it all in there. more olive oil in there. That more salt, just for my hands, I'm just going to make a, a little stuffing mix. Doesn't have to be too oily. What's going to happen when I put this in the oven, the skin is going to fry up and you're going to have a nice soft flesh texture underneath this beautiful filling. Now with the butter fried whiting, the rib cage is still in there. So that's part and parcel of this kind of fish. Just love eating the flesh around the bones. It takes more time to enjoy the, the bounty that we caught the other day. Yeah, that's terrific. And I've got a few backup fillets here. So I might just chuck in separate about the bones. Here. Bird comes all around the place. That is literally it. A bit more oil. Just a dab of thyme, just a little bit. Run out of basil. There you go, one leaf, two leaves. But that's it. Check that out. Righty, so straight into the oven. That won't take too long. No need to put a cover on it. It's quite high. It's about 200, 220. I reckon seven minutes. Time for a beer. Alrighty, got this out of the oven. I already did the taste, but my audio wasn't on, so I'll do it again. Just grab a nice little piece here. It's a whiting. The breadcrumbs and the tomato and the garlic. Oh, it's warm, it's crunchy top, the garlic, the salt, and the tomato. It gives you like this acidity feel to it. It's like as if I had lemon juice in it, but it's just superb. I like it, beautiful. Grab this piece here. A bit of the bread comes again. Mmm. Magnificent. And the whining, of course, the star of the show is just spot on. Take it easy. Make sure you subscribe and like the show. See you next time. Take it easy. Go on, petite. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. Fish. Tucker man, fish tucker, fish tucker, the fish tucker man. Fish tucker, fish tucker, fish tucker man. Fish tucker, fish.
Taka the fish, Taco Man.